from tragedy in our washes to risk takers on our roads. Unfortunately, it is common and costly amid monsoon. While drivers throwing caution to the wind to forge flooded streets, some make it across, others not even close. But sometimes it's only after the rescue is done, only after the wash is dried. That's when the real headache begins. Not in your sides, Maggie Vespa has more on that. It is a split second decision. We've all had to make. We went through one puddle, which was about this high, another puddle, which is a little bit higher. And while some responsibly retreat, and then I turn around, others take the rain soaked risk. Feels like I'm floating half the time. And pay the price. I've actually, on at least one occasion many years ago, had it stall out because the battery got wet. Joey Source of Family Auto and Truck Center has seen his fair share of flood damage. In fact, not on your side, first spoke to Source after Hurricane Sandy battered the East Coast last year. That's a major problem. A crisis that many worried would result in damaged car parts making their way west. He says monsoon related wear can be just as costly. How high does the water have to be to do some serious damage? It's got to be probably about mid door, about mid door. Then it's going to cover up transmission. There's some vent holes. So um, it, it can go in there and do some damage. About $5,000 worth. Keep in mind, he says, water can also flood your engine and interior. Insurance experts say the good news is an unintentional act by a driver that causes damage to their vehicle most likely will be covered. Though they say there are no guarantees. So this monsoon, when faced with a flood, the message is simple. What's your advice? Stay home if you can when it's wet. <laughs> and one question we asked of our friends at Crest Insurance, are you less likely to be covered if you damaged your car driving around a road closed sign? They say no, as long as you weren't trying to intentionally damage your car, your claim should be covered.